Hello, freak bitches. This part of the, what I like about the internet is like, did you read or did you listen rather to the Radio Lab podcast on Shia LaBeouf? LaBeouf? No. LaBeouf? No, I didn't. It's fucking great. I sent it to Jamie. Yeah. It's fucking great. What is it called again? Twitter tr- Truth Trolls? Yeah, it's, you have to find it because they took it down. How did they take it down? Why? I just got it off. You had it already downloaded on your phone because you've our auto download radio lab podcast so when i went to go find it i had to go search for it there was an i sent you that link they had taken it down the next day or something what because people thought that they were uh, endorsing endorsing that trolling tro- yeah exactly they should be endorsing it it was awesome yeah. what, what the 4chan guys did was fucking amazing this is what they did shia labeouf is that how i say his name the boof whatever that fucking crazy asshole's name he was doing some weird art piece where he, he like stood around with a bunch of other people and was like, he will not divide us. He will not divide us. They would all say that. And then all these 4chan people found out about it, so they showed up and started yelling a bunch of fucking Trump shit. It's, just, Here. it's still up Here. live right now. The, the, the camera is still after up? This went all, after that whole thing ended, they ended up like selling this to another company or art people, and they're handling all of it now, so Shia's oh. name's not attached anymore. Okay. So this he will not divide us thing, right? He would go to these places and say, he will not divide us, he will not divide us, and people would show up, and they would show up with like Kekistan shirts on with Pepe the Frog. They would wear Make America Great Again hats on, and they weren't even necessarily Trump supporters. They were just people trying to have fun. Right? They're trying to fuck with people, right? So what they did was Shia LaBeouf put up a, a flag in the middle of nowhere that said he will not divide us and then had a live stream where you could go and look at the flag as it's waving in the breeze, right? They found the fucking flag. They found out where it was. And the way they found it was genius. And it's all detailed in this Radio Lab. The fact they took it down is actually making me mad. Why would they? Because what these guys did was awesome. All right. First of all, it was brilliant. They found social media posts that showed that people had met Shia LaBeouf in some place. Is that how you say his fucking name? LaBeouf. LaBeouf. They found out that they had met him in some weird place in Tennessee. So they triangulated where he would be, right? So then what they did was they went around they had one of their members go around with a car and beep the horn so they could hear the horn on the camera and once they heard the horn on camera then they knew he was there or then they knew the, the flag was there so then they found out where it is by stars they looked at the fucking stars and they figured out where the area is because when it's nighttime you could see the stars on the live feed and they figured out what constellation it was they went to the fucking flag, took it down, put a Make America Great Again hat on and a Peppy the Frog <laughs> thing up there, and the guy walks up to the camera and goes, fuck Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And that's the end of it. So great. The fact that Radio Lab took that down, that's depressing. Why did they do that? Did they not understand what's happening here? Here's, a, here's this one is of the fun. ways how they did it. So like when he was moving around, they found the log cabin he was in, and they're like, let's look for rental cabins that match the wood pattern. There and are around 3,000 rental caverns in Lapand, Lapland. We just need to match the wood patterns easy enough. <laughs> and then you just, they just spend time doing it. And love shit it. Like These this. guys are animals. Yeah. I fucking love this. Mm-hmm. I don't understand why they were mad. Here's the, how they did it too. But, but this is what I understand. I don't understand why Radiolab would take that down. Why don't you Google I'll, that? I'll you why that did Radiolab yeah. take yeah. down... The Twitter truth or trolls, troll truth trolls, whatever the fuck it was. So ra- you you listen to radio? I've never All listened time. to radio. Lab. Love it. What is it? It's an amazing podcast. It's really good. Like a news or? It's one of my favorite podcasts. They have all kinds of crazy shit on. I mean, they have stuff on all sorts of different. Inch- oh, Radio it's Lab removes this. its Truth Trolls episode from podcast feed. Yeah, this was. I was trying to find the actual. Does uh, it say why? Yeah, they posted a reason why, and this isn't there. Mm. Well, what, but it's saying that they removed it, right? That was someone who wrote an article. There. Well, obviously yeah. they removed it. Oh, editorial. Oh, uh, Radio Lab has decided to take down this episode. Some listeners called us out saying that in telling the Capture the Flag story in the way that we did, we essentially condone some pretty despicable ideology and behavior. Oh, come, come on. on. To all the listeners who felt that way and everyone else, please know that we hear you and that we take these criticisms to heart. I feel awful that the things we said could be interpreted that way. That's on us. It was certainly not our intention, and we apologize. Come on, folks. 
you, you guys are missing the humor of this. These, these aren't despicable people. They are saying things that are ridiculous because it's funny. Like, there's a lot of people that say a lot of fucked up shit online. Do they actually mean this stuff, or are they saying it because they are anonymous and because it's fun to say fucked up things online that you're not supposed to say? I would say the latter. I, don't, I think there's a bunch of people that are really legitimately fucked up online. There's a bunch of other people that think it's fun because they're stuck at some goddamn soul-sucking job in some fucking cubicle somewhere, and they have access to the Internet. And so they go on message boards, and they fuck around, and they troll this asshole. Shia LaBeouf is a dum-dum, all right? He's, he's a fucking plagiarist. I mean, this guy's been busted for plagiarizing, like, giant chunks of other people's work, right? Like, what did he get busted for plagiarizing? He's, he's, he's in jail every couple weeks for being an asshole and being drunk and, like, yelling at people. Well, he's a silly fool. Yeah. I think that that gig, being a fucking movie star, is insane. I think it's insanely pressure-filled. It's way harder than what we do in terms of like dealing with all the the people that like you and managing all the relationships and brief history of Shia LaBeouf copying the work of others. Yeah, it's like a ton of shit. What does it say? He plagiarized an apology to Alec Baldwin in 2013. <laughs> he abruptly quit what would have been his first Broadway show, Orphans, due to creative differences. That is, he couldn't get along with Alec Baldwin, according to reports. LaBeouf decided the best way to explain his departure would be to tweet out a photo of his email apology to the cast and Baldwin by name. Unfortunately, parts of the prose sample, a man owns up, dot, 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 a man ellipsis, a man grasps his mistakes, was ripped off verbatim from a 2009 Esquire article titled, What is a Man? People, including the article's author, noticed. Hmm. Barf. Yeah, that's that's not that bad, but it is. He's I mean, de he's, he plagiarized a bunch of shit. He plagiarized his directorial debut, his short film HowardCantor.com, premiered in the 2012 Cannes Film Festival until it was posted online, December 16, 2013. That uh, viewers began to notice that the film was almost an exact adaptation of a graphic novel. That's it, the one by Daniel Close, best known for Ghost World. Close told Buzz, BuzzFeed, which uh, bought much of this story to public light, brought much, much of this story to public light. The first I ever heard of the film was the morning when someone sent me a link. I've never spoken or met Mr. LaBeouf. I've never seen even one of his films that I can recall, and I was shocked, to say the least, when I saw that he took the script and even many of the visuals from a very personal story I did six or seven years ago and passed it off as his own work. Yeah. Wow. I actually can't imagine what was going through his mind. He then apologized for plagiarism by plagiarizing a Yahoo Answers post from four years ago. <laughs> My God. He says, copying isn't particularly creative work. Being inspired by someone else's idea to produce something new and different is creative work. Uh-huh. Huh. Well, that's not totally copying what he said from the Yahoo's answers, but it's pretty goddamn close. Whatever. He's Man. obviously got mental issues. And whether they're real or whether he's trolling or whether, he, whether he's having a psychological meltdown because of all the pressure of being an actor, there's a shitload of pressure in being in Transformers. <laughs> <laughs>